This is the Cine 7 monitor and 702 touch from Small HD. Hey guys, Graham Mailer Sheldon here from Cinema5D.com. We're at NAB 2019 and we're in the Creative Solutions booth and I'm talking to Dale from Small HD. Hey Dale. Hey, how you doing man? So you guys already right out of the gate have made a big splash with two touchscreen monitors and a few other stuff with sort of Teradek receivers integrated into them. So can you tell me a little bit about what you have behind you here? Yeah, so the big thing this year at NAB for us is the, uh, the 702 Touch, which is this guy right here, notified, noted with the uh, space gray chassis. We're hip now. And then the Cine 7 over there, which is the all black, which uh, 1800 nit screen, 1500 nit screen. Um, and the, the really key thing for me uh, for, he, for this year is a Cine 7 with the airy camera control functionality now. So these are really big things. And, and as you know, you know, we're part of Creative Solutions. That means Teradek and Small HD are, are essentially one company now. We're really putting wireless into everything. And that extends into now the Cine 7 as well. So last year, last NAB, we saw the Bolt 500 had a built-in receiver, and there's also a transmitter version as well. So uh, obviously the, the Teradek collaboration seems like it's going okay. Exactly, yeah. So we had the uh, 703 Bolt first, and you just said the Focus Bolt, TX and RX, and now we have several more we're showing with the 702 Touch and the Cine 7 monitors that are releasing here at NAB. We now have a transmit wireless version of the Cine 7, which is right here, which is super cool and sexy. It's just, it's such a, it's such a great, I mean, we took the 73 bolt and we shrunk it down, we gave it a P3 screen, we gave it a touch screen, um, we, and we have just a lot, a lot of real polish went into this product. I mean, it's just fantastic. Um, so really, I mean, you, it seems like your goal is partially to make the perfect director monitor, the perfect client monitor. Yeah. So with the 702, is that sort of meant for ACs? You're seeing that as sort of an on-camera model? Who's the perfect user for this yeah, one right here? 702 here? Touch is essentially supposed to be a, uh, just a budget, more budget-friendly version of the Cine 7, right? I mean, the, the, uh, 70, everyone knows the 702 Bright. It's a ubiquitous monitor being used out there. We've sold thousands and thousands of them. Um, and that's really where this project started, was we just wanted to basically take that 702 Touch, 702 Bright, and refine it. Right, and that's what the 702 Touch was created from. And uh, we've basically taken it, we've added native L-series battery brackets into it. You can now put a golden V-mount bracket onto the 702, uh, and without it being a real like, janky solution, we have the, a brighter screen, we gave it a P3 gamut, we shrunk it down a little bit. So like, it's just a more refined version of the 702 Bright that everyone knows and loves, right? And then what we did with, from there is we said, you know what, let's make an even brighter version, kind of keep most of the formula the same, uh, and let's give it uh, camera control. And that's what the Cine 7 is. The Cine 7 is really for the higher end user um, that's going to be putting this thing on an Airy, on a Red. Um, and so we're starting here with Airy, uh, Alexa Mini, Amira, and a, a, a Mini LF versions of the camera it can control today. But we're now adding in the future, pretty soon with this year, Red control and Sony Venice control as well. So it's a, it's a platform now. Okay, and you, and you, I assume, plan to continue in sort of the LANC, like, Canon bodies uh, down the road, maybe, with that one? Yeah, possibly, possibly. We're really, we're really sticking with the high-end cinema on this um, for now, but we actually are looking as well on the, on the lower end and some pretty interesting control-related things as well I can't really talk about, but stay tuned. Okay, so some top secret stuff hinted at right there. Um, so uh, in the past, I sort of thought of the Bolt 703 as like your flagship, top of the line thing. So where do the Cine 7 um, and then the 702 fit in your lineup right now? Yeah. So the Cine 7, you just kind of drop down one level, right, in terms of price and capability. It's not quite as bright as the 703 Bolt. Um, and it's touch screen, the 703 Bolt isn't touch screen. And so a lot of the really high end people just hate touch screen. So we want to maintain, we want to keep that option for them. And if you need the brightest of the bright, that's what the 703 Bolt is for. The Cine 7 though, it just again shrinks it down so it's a little bit more ergonomic in that sense. Um, and it adds a touch screen, it adds the P3 gamma. So I think it's like if you're just a little more color critical, you're, not, you're just not, you're not after that pure raw performance in the brightness category, the Cine 7 is a great option because it's a little slimmer, a little sleeker, um, it's got the P3 gamut and the touch screen, and, uh, and then it has a, a transmit option as well, which the 703 Bolt does. We don't have that with the 703 Bolt. So if you're going to operate this thing on top of a camera, right, it's not a director's monitor, you can actually stick it on your RE, control the RE, and then transmit from the RE all with one device, which is something the 703 Bolt can't do. Yeah, it's very cool. So, yeah. uh, I mean, I hate to ask this. You just had a bunch of new uh, products launch here, but what does the future look like for you guys? Where do you see all of this headed in the next, say, year to five years? 
Yeah, I mean, we, we're, you're just going to see more and more of us pushing these technologies together, right? So, you know, Teradek is known for transporting video around, right? That's primarily that you're encoded or un don't encode it, and they transmit it around to the cloud, to cross set, whatever. We display those images, right? And so for the longest time, those two ecosystems have lived apart, and now we're starting to bring them together with the Bolt technology you've seen for the past year and a half, but we're going to continue doing that. So you might see other Paradox products get integrated into the monitor. You might see the monitors start to incorporate other functionality even beyond wireless communication. Um, so it's really, I think people really appreciate when they can reduce the amount of discrete devices they have to have around and in their camera, right? And we're all about that everyone needs an image to look at when they're operating a camera, right? So it'd be great if that one image now you could become a control center for your set, for your rig, or whatever. You can. You want to be able to start controlling the camera, right? From that, from that, everyone wants to do that. Everyone wants to touch the thing and focus on that thing, right? Everyone wants, doesn't want to have to keep slinging different boxes that do different things. They all want it in one spot for at a good price with a good build, good form factor, and that's really where we're going to go. Now, does using a camera control like that, um, being able to control the camera from the monitors, obviously, does that require working with the manufacturers in, uh, on the software side? It does, yeah. So, Ari, Ari and, uh, and Creative Solutions have been working together on this area control. Um, so, they have their published CAP protocol, right, that we utilize, but because the integration was so slick and so good, they like really like it. And so, we're actually going to be opening up some more uh, features within the CAP protocol come going forward. Um, and, uh, and then there's some other interesting things in the works between us as well. All right. Well, Dale, thank you so much for taking a few minutes with us here. Uh, everybody stay tuned for more continuing coverage from NAB 2019 on cinema5d.com. Win $5,000 worth of gear in our NAB 2019 giveaway together with Serp and Joby. You can win a Genie 3X's Pro Slider Epic Kit, a Magic Carpet Carbon Fiber Slider, and a Gorilla Pod with Genie Mini. To enter the giveaway, simply click the link below and follow the instructions. All winners will be drawn on April 30th. Good luck and stay tuned to Cinema 5D.